From the seed of a silver apple came the tree. From the tree came the wardrobe. Through the wardrobe came the four children. To the children came an astonishing magical adventure. And by that magic came seven wonderful stories, including that of the amazing voyage of a ship called the Dawn Treader. In the fifth book of the Chronicles of Narnia, Edmund and Lucy Pevensey are spending the summer with their cousin Eustace Clarence Scrub, a most unlikable boy. They are having a perfectly horrible time until all three are drawn into a picture of a Narnian ship. Before they know it, Lucy, Edmund and cousin Eustace find themselves spluttering in the sea. They have been pulled into the oceans of Narnia. Their old friend Caspian rescues them and brings them on board the Dawn Treader, where they reunite with Reepicheep, the valiant mouse, and meet Drinian, the ship's captain. Caspian, gasped Lucy. For Caspian it was. Caspian, the boy king of Narnia, whom they had helped set on the throne during their last visit. Immediately, Edmund recognized him too. Caspian is on a voyage to find the seven lost lords of Narnia, who were exiled by his evil uncle Miraz. Together, the Pevensies, Eustace, Caspian, and the crew of the Dawn Treader sail on to the Lone Islands in search of the missing men. When the crew arrives in the Lone Islands, Caspian is captured by slavers and is sold to Lord Byrne, one of the seven lost lords and a loyal Narnian. Caspian reveals his identity to Lord Byrne and is rescued. Together, they take back the Lone Islands from the treacherous governor Gumpus, and Caspian names Lord Byrne Duke of the Lone Islands. <laughs>